email from a gal not too long ago. I think it was a Ravelry message and she asked me a good question. She said, Stacy, I dropped a stitch. I'm working on a lace pattern. I dropped a stitch way back when. I've already knit on forever since then, you know, a few inches uh, since then. There's no way that I can pull that drop stitch back up to the needle because there's no room for it because I didn't even know I dropped it until five minutes ago. And with that email, I thought that was a good, that's a good question. And, but basically she cursed me because I did the exact same thing in my own knitting like the next day. So that's why we're here. I actually have my own knitting project here and a stitch that I dropped. Uh, I was watching a really good TV series. It was the TV series Fargo, if you wanna know. It was really good, I was really into it. I dropped a stitch, I just kept going. I didn't know that I dropped the stitch. And um, it was a stitch on the edge anyway, so if I, even if I did notice it, I probably would have had to rip back um, to get to it. And I had already moved on several inches and there is like, in this project, there's like 700 cast on. <laughs> so I'm taking kind of a risk here because I'm gonna fix this like, this real problem that I didn't like set up to be a problem to correct in video. This really happened because I was really into a TV series and I didn't even know I did it. Let's go ahead and take a look. I hope this goes well. Okay, normally I, I show you things that are knit and steamed and made for video to look nice. This is real life. This is the project I'm really working on. It's not steamed, so it's kind of lumpy and, and stretchy, but this is the way things look when you're actually knitting them. I dropped this edge stitch. This is uh, one, there's a dog hair on here too. It's so real. This is one by one ribbing and I dropped a stitch here and this would have been difficult to pick up under any circumstances because it's on the edge. I would have had to rip back probably to the row before and I don't even know how many rows this slipped down before I caught it. I just did catch it um, and I got a clippy marker in there right away. So this is how I'm gonna fix this. And this is the same technique if you are working on lace or uh, anytime <laughs> you just really can't rip back to get this thing corrected. I have a tapestry needle and the same yarn that I'm using in the project and this stitch very carefully held. My goal here is to secure it so that it can't unravel anymore and hopefully make it so that it looks really good. So what I did there is I ran the yarn through it and then I stretched the fabric to make sure the stitch isn't pulled out any. It isn't stretched out any more than it absolutely needs to be. I'm gonna flip this over to the back. That's really where I want to weave this in. To keep it from getting bulky, I'm gonna weave in the two ends independently. Because this is rib, I'm going to follow the I'm going to follow the rib down a little bit. I just really want to get it away from the edge. That's one strand. The second strand is going to make it clear the other side. It's not second strand, it's the other side of the scrap yarn is going to make it clear if this is going to look good or not. And then I'm weaving them in just slightly differently from each other. Okay. Now I'm going to pull on this scrap yarn. See, I have my fingers crossed that this looks good because sometimes it takes some experimentation to make sure that your finished project is gonna look good. Now look at that, that actually looks really smooth. I'm happy with that. I don't think I could do any better than that. And now if this was a non-animal fiber yarn, I would definitely tie a bunch of knots in this to make sure that it was secure. But this is a, a wool yarn, and it's actually a pretty sticky wool yarn that I know has been spit splicing really well. So, whoops, that was probably off camera. So I'm just gonna weave in these ends. And here's my video on weaving in ends and ribbing, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. And I know it's hard to see. I did not create this problem for video, so it's not in the ideal color of yarn for everyone to see what I'm doing. But I'll weave in both of those ends. That edge looks really good. You never know that I dropped a stitch there. 
I'd say that was pretty successful considering that it could have been a disaster. Anyway, that's how to save a stitch. You need a clippy marker and a little bit of good luck. <laughs> good luck. Thank <laughs> you.